And g'day, and welcome to another episode of Daz's Arcade Games. I'm Daz, and today we're going to be doing a video on a very nice little shooter called Helly's Comet, made in 1986 by Tato. Um, not sure if it's a very well-known shooter, but it's actually a pretty good one, and it gets pretty fast and pretty hard, and one that I really enjoy. I never saw it over here in Australia, and apparently the actual arcade machines of these are as rare as hen's teeth. So really, um, basically, the, um, the only way people can really play them is when it's um, set up on a, a machine like I've got, or on your PC. And of course, you can download MAME and that for your mobile phones and all that as well. Um, not sure if there was ever a port for it. Um, I thought I remembered a C64 version, but I'm probably wrong there. But um, but I can't be sure about that. Um, but as you can see, um, I'm, like, I'm like what it is. It's a space shooter where you get all these power ups and all that kind of thing, and you uh, yeah, just go along and, and and kill as many things as you want. Game gets exceptionally hard, and um, but yeah, it is a nice shooter. So what we'll do, we'll set up and and we'll have a go at it. Okay, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we'll just put in a credit, push one player only button, and we'll see how we go with this. As you can see, it's an eight way joystick game, and the idea is to really just fire as fast as you can. But you'll see power ups there. And if you shoot these, these power-ups, which are in these, these little, like, asteroid things, it'll actually, um, it, it will actually um, make your spaceship stronger very quickly. That one there is the one you want, because it actually gives you a bit more firepower. And that one there will actually make you fast. But that's the only one of them I want to get, because if you get too fast, you can't control your spaceship very well in this game. But as you can see, it is very um, high scoring. Well, it can be, um, like if you get enough power ups. The only issue with this game is that well, in the later levels, if you lose a man and you're down to one fire, you're pretty much dead in the water. Because it just becomes horribly hard. Okay, now I probably could have got him, but I didn't. And what we're up to now is the first boss ship. Now, to each level, there's pretty much three stages, and, and this one is just the first one. He'll fire at you. The idea is stay out of the way of his fires, and finally blow him up, and he'll be, and, um, he'll be worth 20,000 points. Now, we'll get into area two, and it will start getting harder. Okay, we'll get that power up there, and just watch the rocks as they start shooting stuff. Okay, we'll get that as a good bonus, and but, but, but you just got to keep an eye on things, and you really do have to watch those ships there because um, they will do stuff. And as you can see, if you press the fire button, it actually gives you a warp. which I don't tend to use much because I'm not sure if it actually puts me in, um, like into a good spot in the game. But, but as you can see, it is getting quicker and a lot of things are coming out. Like I said, I've never played this in the arcades. In fact, I would have really liked to have played this in the arcades because I, because I think it's a really nice game and it is a very good game. Well, yeah, it is a game that gets pretty damn hard. As you can see, these guys are shooting a lot of bullets at me now, and those um, dish type things that look like flying saucers, they actually get pretty nasty. Those things there. And now, what we're up to here is like a base level, where it opens up holes, and you just kind of shoot them all as they open up. And again, um, just be careful of those dish type things. And then, we got through that world. Now, something else to explain, every alien that gets past you takes a percentage off. And if that gets to 100% down there, it's actually game over. Okay, area three. So 
uh, the idea is really keep an eye on all of the bombs that are coming at you and don't try and get too far up the stream because um, that, they really can stitch you up like I was almost done there. Sometimes the best ploy is to just just not shoot those um, saucer type things because they will cause you a lot of trouble. Like then that was extremely close. And we'll just get another little power up there. Okay. And, and I honestly did not even see that. And that's what I mean about those things. They just give you a hard time. And that maybe has just totally wrecked my game. Because that's how, um, how this game can work. Okay, we'll get the things on the side there. Because as you can see, I don't have a lot of firepower here. And we'll, we'll get through that bit. And we'll take them out. Okay, we'll just shoot one of those, and now we're up to the final boss. Now, it will start and shoot a lot of bullets at you, and then they all disappear, and you've got to get them when they're orange and open. Like that one. And the bottom one. Now, um, like if I had fire, that could go right across the screen. I'd knock them all out in a hurry. But because I don't, I've got to guess where they're opening, and that's hard. And now I've messed up, which I'm pretty good at at times. And we have to get up to that end bit of and there it is. It'll fire a heap at me, and I'll have another go. But as you can see, it wants to be a pain to me. We well, got a couple of times. Try not to get cornered again like I did before though. Like I almost did then. And you really gotta keep an eye on what's going on here. I'm trying to get in the right spot. Now there's not many left. Alright, we've got that one and we finally ended it. So we finally got through the first world. So we got up to, so that's through Earth. Now we're we up to Venus. Area 4, and what we need to do is get some firepower really fast. But it's, it is difficult because there are plenty of aliens in there. We need that, which we got, so we can take that, and oh, it was imperative we got that, and he came out at a bad time. So, as you can see, this game is bloody harsh. Now we need that last piece of him, and we got him. Ah, uh, and then, I'm really messing up here. But as I said, this is just proving to you how harsh this game actually plays because it just takes all of your, power, your, your firepower away from you and once that's done, you are just done, basically. It's almost impossible. And I don't want them. And everything just fires at you because, like I said, I've got no firepower and it was really hard. So, that will be the end of um, Halley's Comet. And as you see, I didn't get my name up on the high score table. Um, actually, uh, 429,090. Yeah, it's not a bad score. But, but like I said, it, it's, it is a hard game and it is a harsh game because of what happens with the um, lack of firepower. Yeah, you know, like once you got the firepower, you can go forever. But once it gets you once, it really, to me, it doesn't matter how many men you've got left. And that is one of the drawbacks of the game. But apart from that, it's a good fun shooter. It's fast, frenetic, and it's, and it's one that I really, really enjoy. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. 
and if you did please press the subscribe button and and of course if you like my channel do the same and don't be frightened to press the like button and comment as well I'll comment back to you as much as I can which is I don't think there's one comment I haven't commented back to yet so okay so I will see you all next time when I do my next video bye